get thirsty. Sometimes when you're talking, you get a little bit thirsty. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Say hey, when, Ellen. Go right ahead. Okay. Ruth, could you give me your full name and spell it for me, please? Okay. My name is Ruth, middle initial E, Elizabeth, Lace, L-A-E-S. My maiden name was Vanderbilt, D-A-N-D-E-R, capital B-L-O-O-M-E-N. And your first name? Ruth. Would you spell it, please? Ruth, R-U-T-H. And your middle name? Elizabeth. E-L-I-Z-A-B-E-T-H. Okay. And where were you born, Elizabeth? I... I I'm sorry, Ruth. I had always heard I was born in Green Valley, Wisconsin. I guess that's near Pulaski. Oh, okay. And uh, what was the date of your birth? May 3rd of 1932. Okay. And what were your parents' names? My parents was were Arnold Vanderblumen, and my mother was Delia Vanderblumen, maiden name Metoxen. Oh, okay. And did your mother have any sisters and brothers? Yes. I don't know how many. I don't know. We never knew all her family. Oh, okay. But the last one that was living was Julia. Julia Huff. Oh, okay. Did you know any, any of the other one's names? No, Aunt Florence, I know. And there was a Mary. But other than that, I don't know. Okay. What about your father's side? Did, yes. Did he, you know his family? Well, we were put with them pretty much. Uh, my dad had broke his back, and we stayed the whole summer with his sister. And they were really mean to us. Oh. They wouldn't even let us hardly eat nothing. They'd bake stuff, and then they wouldn't let us have nothing. And oh, and they were really mean to us. What was their names, his brothers and sisters? Oh, he had a Lucille, um, Aunt Nell. Oh, golly. I know there was an Uncle Fred. That's about it, probably, okay. that I can remember. Uncle John was the last one. Okay. Were both your parents uh, Oneidas? No, my only my mother. Your mother was the mm -hmm. only one that was Oneida? My father was a Hollander. A Hollander? Oh, Dutchman. Okay. Oh, okay. And um, did your mother ever talk about anything about where she went to school? or? No. No? I was only six when she died. Oh, she died when you were very young. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. My older sister, Anne, was eight. I was six, and Fran was four. Margie was two, and she died with our only little boy. The baby died, too. Oh, okay. Did she, did she die in childbirth? Mm-hmm, childbirth and pneumonia. Oh. Okay. Everything together. Uh-huh. So then where did you uh, go after your mother passed away? Well, my, my dad tried to keep us together, and he had a, a lady and a man. Their names were Tony and Dora Hill. Okay. And they came and took care of us, and he paid them to take care of us, but they, they were really bad drinkers, and that's all they did was drink. Oh, okay. We didn't get nothing to eat or nothing. We had to fight for ourselves. And how long did you stay with them? Um, gosh. We went to the Guardian Angel boarding school, I know, from there. After, you know, they were unfit <coughs> to take care of us. Mm -hmm. We were put in that Guardian Angel. The three youngest ones, m me and Fran and Margie, and got put with the Morgans from the Morgan mm -hmm. store in Oneida. Mm -hmm. And she she lived with them and went to Seymour High School. But we were, us three were put in that Garden Angel School. Oh, okay. And we were there, I think I graduated the eighth grade from there. 
And then where did you go? And then from we there? went to foster parents. Oh, okay. We were pushed all around. Were they Oneida I, homes that you went to? No. No. I lived with the Liebmans from the Liebman Packing Company mm -hmm. until I met my husband and, and we got married. Oh, okay. I and went to the academy. I graduated from St. Joe's Academy. Is that in Green Bay? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's not even anymore. Is that uh, through high school then? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you go on to school from there? No. No? Okay, and um, you said you met your husband, and what year did you get married? What was the date of your marriage? 1950. And October 7. October 7, 1950. 1950. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And was he Oneida? No. No? No. Okay. Did you have any children? Yes. We had our first son in May of 1951. Okay, and what was his name? Rodney. Rodney? Yeah. Okay. And, and that's the one I just lost here, December 9th. Oh, okay. No. Did you have any other children? Yes. Eleven months later, we had the second boy, May 11th of 1952. Uh-huh. And then 19... And what was his name? Rick. Rick? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then um, in 1955, we had our first daughter, Sherry. And 1959, we had the second daughter, Terry. And 1965, we had the last daughter, the oh, fifth okay. one. That was it. And what was her name? Christine. Christine? With a K. Okay. And do they all live in the area here? In Green Bay. In Green Bay? Oh, okay. Well, the oldest daughter lives in Crivets. Oh, okay. Do any of your children work for the Oneida tribe? Terry works for the Bingo. Oh, okay. She's married to Norrin Cornelius. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But that's the only one that married him. No, no. Rick isn't married to her, but they've lived together and had two children. Um, Carol Torres, oh, and she okay. works for Human Resources. Human Resources? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. All right. And how long did your father live after uh, your mother passed I away? I was only like 13 when he passed away. Oh, okay. He got crushed between two trucks of lumber. Oh, my goodness. Yes, and, and he had TB, and they put him in a sanitarium. They said he mostly died of being heartbroken. Mm -hmm. He couldn't take care of us no more. Okay. What is, what is your involvement with the uh, Oneida tribe, if anything? Where, my work, you mean? Yeah, would, do you work for the I tribe? I work for or? the accounting department. Uh -huh. I do the jackpot slips. Okay. Do you, um, do you get invo involved in any of the tribal politics at all? No. No? Uh, my downfall is I don't drive. Oh, okay. I hardly get anywhere. Okay. Do you uh, take advantage of any of the elderly programs? Not too much anymore. When I, I used to work for the senior center. I mm -hmm. worked there for two, two and a half years with Roberta, mm -hmm. and I would go on those trips. Oh, okay. To the different meetings and stuff. I was a secretary for the WEA program. Oh, okay. So you were involved in one of the programs mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy doing that? Yes, mm -hmm. very much. Understand. But then when the, when the job came around for the casino, that was double what I was making. Oh. So yeah. I grabbed it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, then um, what kind of experiences did you have when you were in the boarding school that you can remember? Oh, we didn't, we didn't get along too good because they were kind of like picked on, I think. Do you know who was running the boarding school at that time? Um, Father, what was his name? Oh, he was old. Father. But it was the Catholic Church that was mm -hmm. running running the mm -hmm. boarding school? Okay. Did they run it all the years you were there? Yeah, the sisters. Mm -hmm. uh, we got our knuckles cracked 
because they tried to make us learn piano. Oh. We got <laughs> our knuckles cracked with those <coughs> metal rulers. Oh. Me and my sister Fran, both of us. Oh, you'd hit a wrong note. Rack, you'd get a hit. <laughs> Did they have, um, the living quarters were right there then mm -hmm. after school? Mm-hmm. Did you ever um, learn to talk Oneida at all? No. No? No. I know a couple words, but not much. Yeah. So, you, I don't suppose you'd know if your mother talked Oneida or not, huh? No. I don't remember that. Did you know we who We had a grandma, too, but was good. That's it was her that's mother. But I don't even rem I think her name was Elizabeth. That's where all the Elizabeths come in. Oh, okay. I have a granddaughter, Elizabeth, too. <coughs> well, El Elizabeth, your grandmother Elizabeth, do you know what her maiden name was? No. No? But she would have been a Matoxin, married Matox married name? No, my mother was married to a Matoxin. Oh, she was married to Matox. What was her maiden name? I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sure my sister Anne would know that, because she's been... Uh, going into uh, different things from the Press Gazette and going back into the family history that... Genealogy stuff yeah, she's been doing? Yeah, uh -huh. and she's got that all... I, they were making a book around Christmas time, but like I say now, she hasn't talked to me since oh, okay. December 9th, so I don't know okay. where that is. Okay. What kind of um, chores did you have to do when you were in the, in the um, boarding school? Oh, I don't remember that. You don't remember I remember that? we had fried potatoes every single night. Fried potatoes. <laughs> Any other foods that you can remember that you had? Uh -uh. I know it was fried potatoes. <laughs> Seems to me it was oatmeal or just one of that every morning, too. It was the same. Do you remember any of the holidays when you were growing up? See, we got to go go away from there and a lot of times I would go spend the, the days with my sister Anne oh. at the Morgan store uh -huh. but there we had to work too I mean they had that Oneida switchboard in uh -huh. there and we had to run down if that phone rang we had to run down and answer that phone and connect to different ones and oh okay so that was kind to, of a learning experience mm -hmm. for you and we had to um Stuck up the shelves in the grocery uh -huh. store there. Uh -huh. Put new stuff out there. We had to work there too. Oh, okay. But you don't remember what you had to do at the school? Huh? Mm -mm. Any kind of work that you had to do? No. Is there any kind of um, food that you can remember that you had anything traditional or anything growing up? Were you, did you have any of the traditional Oneida foods? I don't remember that. No. My dad would buy a pig in the fall, and we'd eat that bacon and pork and ham all winter. Mm-hmm. And he would make rabbit stew. Mm-hmm. He liked to cook. Huh? Mm-hmm. So how old were you, did you say, when, when you got first sent away? When my dad died was 13. You were 13? Mm-hmm. Okay. No, well, we got sent away before that. Because I was already there with the Liebmans when he died. Oh, okay. So oh. do you do you remember ever having any uh, radio or anything like that when you were growing well, up? Yeah, we had a radio and he would have to wire it to something on the outside because we had no, no electricity. We had lamps. And those had to be washed every morning then because they would get all black. The oh, chimneys the chimneys. on them. Uh -huh. and somehow he would wire up that that radio that we could listen to that um, Saturday night, that barn dance. Or would, <laughs> it, I know it was country music anyway. <laughs> did you, um, where did you live at that time? On Moore Road. Oh, okay. And our house burned. Oh, okay. Then, and that's when we all got taken away. Oh, and that's when you were living with Tony and Dora? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, did you have running water? 
or any no, kind of water? No, we had an outhouse. I'm sure that we must have had a bucket that we could go in and oh. that we didn't have to go out in the night. Yeah. Did you, what, how, how did you get your water? Like your drinking water? I think we had a well. A you pump. had a well? Oh, okay. All right. Do you remember any kind of uh, games that you played as kids? No, tag, just out, outside in a... Did you go skating or sledding or anything? Yeah, we, we had ice skates, yeah. Do you participate in any of the other elder programs besides the job uh, situation today? No, like the really. elderly feeding program or anything like that? Oh. Every once in a while, I go to the diabetic dinner. Oh, okay. Over here at the parish hall. Mm-hmm. Okay. And what was your uh, church affiliation growing up? Uh, that was a fight. My mother was Methodist from the Methodist Church here, mm -hmm. and my f dad was Catholic, of course. Oh. And one week we went to his church, the next week we went to hers, and the next week to his. That was a constant fight, and the day that she died, he had us all baptized Catholic. Oh, okay. Was she buried at the Methodist? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, did we get the date of your wedding, your marriage? I think we did, huh? October 7, 1950. Yeah, we did get that. Okay, yeah. Did you work anywhere else uh, besides where you're working now and the I elderly? I worked um, at Red Cross through the, through the senior aid program uh -huh. when I was, I must have been 55. Uh -huh. And then you could get hired through the senior aid program. Oh, okay. And that's where I worked. I worked for four years at, at the American Red Cross. I really liked that. They were so good to me. Do you have any um, grandchildren? Yes, I have lots Got their of them. Names? <laughs> their names? Yeah. Holy man. <laughs> I don't think I wrote them even down. I know um, Rod, my oldest son, had three. Three, one son and three daughters. Roddy, um, Cassie, and Angela. All right, then Rick had four children, two with Iris Smith. She was an Indian girl from Stevens Point, I think. Um, Autumn and Little Sky were those two names. And then he had two with Carol, Ricky and Allison. And then my oldest daughter only had one and his name is David. Terry had two, but not with Norn. She had been married before. And she has Heidi, Holly and Heidi, two daughters. Mm -hmm. And Christine, my last daughter, has only one, and she's Elizabeth. Okay. And then those kids then I got great grandchildren oh, okay 12 of them oh do I don't even know half of their names oh you don't know their names I haven't seen some of them even oh okay but I got 12 of them 12 great grandchildren mm -hmm. okay and the names you don't want to give us because you don't know them all huh no I don't know them all <laughs> <laughs> one married a, a girl from New York and God knows where they are he divorced that one and married another one. Oh, goodness. Hard to keep up, huh? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever hear anything about the New York land claim? Mm-hmm. What do you think about it? I don't know. <laughs> don't I don't know what to think about that. Because I don't know if that was really, if we were really entitled to that. Mm-hmm. What about, do you think that the tribe has enough programs for the elders? Yeah. Okay. Do you use the uh, health center at all? The health center, yes, definitely. 
Oh, I don't know where I'd be without them because I have been, last summer I was sick all summer from June until October. Mm -hmm. Oh, I had two major operations and... So the health center has been very good to you? Yes. Okay. What does it mean to you to uh, be in Oneida? What? Oh, golly. It means a whole lot. I don't know what I'd do without them. Without, you know, I where how I would pay my bills and, you know, that per capita, that is the land uh, godsend. Yeah. So you really appreciate that. Yes. Is there anything um, that you would like to see done for the elderly that's not being done? I don't know of anything. I think everything is good. Oh, okay. Well, do you think we covered everything, Ellen? Uh, I think most of so. Okay. Gordy? I think so. Okay. Well, I want to thank you for doing this interview with us. Thank and you. in about three weeks, we'll get a video for you, and I'll probably bring it over by the um, casino to you. Okay. And uh, they'll unhook you. Any pictures?